All right, we are here with a payday three tips and tricks video. I'm probably going through about maybe five tips that have helped me throughout stealth. So let's get right on to it. So as you load up the game for the first time at level one, the suppressor for the pistol that you own is by default unlocked. You just have to equip it. So you go, just go in your loadout, uh, edit the pistol, go down to, is it muzzles, I think? And then just equip the suppressor and you are good to go for that first stealth mission. So the next tip I'll be giving is the guard spots you in a private area. You'll know this by, it tells you at the top of your screen if you are in a private area, public area, or a secured area. So if you are in a private area, you will not be arrested, but if you stop moving when the guard yells at you to stop moving, he will escort you out of the private area. So you have that extra time to then go back in when he's not looking and go where you need to be going. And at the top of the screen, if it says secured area, it will be in red. And a guard catches you, he will arrest you in that area. And you'll either have to restart the mission. Or uh, if you have the skill unlocked, you can pick the lock to the handcuffs. But being arrested in the secured area will cause the guard to start searching every room within that map. So you might as well just restart it. That's what we usually do if one of us gets caught, which is every time. That's what I recommend. The next... Uh, tip I would have to recommend is going for the Grifter uh, skill tree. So as long as so Grifter, so as long as you're masked off, you're within one meter of a civilian or employee, you gain rush. So you just pretty much gain a gain a speed boost, which at first doesn't seem that useful, but once you start looking at the four others within that skill tree, they are very useful for stealth, especially. So for the next for so for the first one within the skill tree, if you are unmasked and have rush. Cameras can't detect you trespassing in private areas, but if you are like lock picking a lock in a private area, the camera will detect you. So when you run past a civilian, you will gain rush. And with that rush, you can then run into the private area you want to go into. And the cameras won't detect you, but the second you try and pick a lock or grab something in that area that's an illegal action, the cameras will detect you. And you have, I think it's about like maybe eight seconds of that bar that goes around. I'll be putting a, a video of what it looks like on screen, but that's pretty much what you can do. I've used this a bunch of times in the nightclub heist to help me get through it. And then for the second one, um, as long as you have rush employees and, and, and sorry, as long as you're unmasked and have rush employees will ignore you from illegal actions. So if there's an employee right beside you and you're picking a lock, but you ran past them and gained that rush. They will not see you doing that illegal action. And then the next one is open mic. You re answer radios 50% faster, which is amazing if you kill two guards by accident. You can answer those within a couple seconds of each other. And then after you get handcuffed by a guard, you can break free by lock picking the cuffs. This is quite useful, but when you get handcuffed in the secured area, uh, they'll already be searching around. So like you could just restart the mission or sorry, the heist. That's what I'd recommend because then it's kind of blown because they'll start going into every room will go down the vault hallway and stuff and it just gets a little bit annoying so you might as well just restart the mission at that point so grifter i highly recommend it's it's very good it's, it's literally my entire skill tree grifter top tier a uh, tip that i would recommend is if you are playing on overkill um there is a lead guard that walks around the uh, map as well so what you can do that my buddy and i found out is if you place a micro camera on the guard, it makes it so much easier. I'll be uh, showing you what, what to do. So pretty much you just go behind the lead guard when he doesn't see you, you throw a micro camera on him and you walk away and then you access the micro cam and you can see where he is at all times. And this is literally the most useful thing. It's really good for the first bank heist especially because if you kill the lead guard, he constantly gets radios every I think we timed it, it was about a minute and a half to two minutes, he'd get constant radioed. Um, so this is very helpful to know where he's at all times. I highly recommend this. And the last tip I'd recommend is don't pull a me. Um, they changed the keybind to drop in this game, in Payday 2 it was G, in this game it is Q. So me, I keep pressing G, it's just, my brain just remembers G for Payday 2. So I keep pressing G, but I keep throwing a grenade at the wall. So it's been, it's been a rough one. So look at your keybinds, change them if you have to. 
it's been rough. So now I have throwing knives. We don't have this issue anymore. Thank God. But anyways, that is it for the tips and tricks. If I find anything else, I'll make a new video on it, I guess, or just do a quick YouTube short. But if you have any tips and tricks that you have, let me know in the comments. Anyways, peace out. Hope you're enjoying your heisting.